In software reliability and hardware reliability, the difference, let us see first, this is a bath tub curve. Now, on the x-axis we have time, on y-axis we have failure rate. How many failures will happen? Depending upon the time. Now you see this blue line, this is like a bath tub you use in the, your uh, toilets and bathrooms to take a wash. Now this is when it starts hardware, there will be errors, great errors, but slowly these errors will be less. And finally, there will be a straight line where there will be no problems. This is a useful life for that hardware. But once it has lived its life, the wear and tear of that hardware will take place. So now the failure rate will increase. So failure rate first, it will increase, then it will be, will be constant and then will, it will again increase. In software, same thing, Soft, the errors are too much, we use the software testing and the debugging and now we deploy or we give the software to the user. Now there will be maintenance activity. Now there we will have give increment or we, can, we will give some a new version or upgradation. Now there will be some errors in the uh, upgrade which has been removed. Now next upgrade, some more bug fixing, some more functionality changes, some more things being done. Next upgrade, same thing is being done. So after multiple upgrades, now the life of software becomes stable or this reliability is we can maintain. And this goes on and on. There is no wear and tear in the software until there is another software which, which replaces this software. So this is the time when abolescence period of software takes. So software reliability in this external conditions, environmental conditions are not affecting. Only the internal condition, what are the bugs, defects, even the insufficient memory, even the inappropriate clock speeds, they affect the software reliability. Main thing is how much testing you have done, how much bugs you have removed and how stable your system is. The hardware reliability is totally dependent on the environmental condition because wear and tear does happen. In a car, if you are using a car for a long time, the tire needs to be replaced. Now software reliability, you cannot predict it. Okay, If you know the design, usage or stress factor, any kind of factor. Reliability cannot be easily numbered. Quantitative analysis is not that easy. But reliability, because we have so many models in the hardware, we can easily predict reliability from the design factors and the physical attributes. Software reliability, you cannot uh, improve it using the redundancy. Okay, because if you have two software, you say, oh, one software is failing, let us use the another software. That is, you have redundancy of the software. But what error will come in first software will definitely come in the second software. But in hardware, if one part is failing, if you have redundancy, you can just replace because you have an, an extra extra hardware. So you can just replace it. Okay. You can have a tire if some tire get blast or anything. You have a stepney. Software reliability, the failure rates of software components, they are not predictable as I just say. So because 10% of the functionality are used 90% of the time. In failure rates, the hardware components, these are predictable. Software reliability, the main cause of failures is design faults. Repairs can only be done when you go to the code and go to the design and then do it. Testing, debugging of design and also the, the main code software. Hardware reliability, they can be caused by any kind of deficiency in the design, in the production, in the maintenance. Software reliability, there is no wear out phenomenon, there is no wear and tear. Errors can come any time without any warning by using any kind of a function which is not never being used. Hardware reliability, they will cause wear and tear. Because a person, if he takes birth, he has to die. So we are hardware, we are machines. Okay, if you understand us as, as a machine. Now software reliability, there is no equivalent preventive maintenance for software. In book you will learn there are only three types of uh, maintenance. Perfective, adaptive, perfective, adaptive and only the corrective. There is no preventive. Why? Because when you are making a good design, you are making good uh, code, testing it properly. 
This is the preventive maintenance only. But hardware level reliability repairs can be made that makes hardware more reliable through maintenance. So there is preventive maintenance in hardware reliability. You can put grease, you can put oil in your car so that it works fine. In software reliability, reliability is not time dependent. Failure can occur anytime, anywhere. Logical path error, some conditional error or some input, some sensitivity, some sanity error. It can happen. But reliability is time related in terms of in, in the case of hardware. Failure rates can be decreasing constant and then increasing with respect to the operating time as you see here in the graph also. 